Rob Chapman. And I'm the captain. Fresh from the urban jungles of Guildford, oh. where he recently heroically <laughs> headed down an evil criminal, cleft him in twain with his captain hand, sonically destroyed him, and got back the goods from yes. non violent means. Yes, probably slightly less dramatic than that. But yes, I certainly have just come back from running after some little Herbert that nicked something out of Anderton's. But I got it back. It's Hooray! a good job you got a black belt of um, wizardry. I wish. So, Andy Timmons. Uh, a guitar demagogue for the last 25, 30 years. Um, amazing player, known for great tone and great licks. Um, played with all kinds of people. Uh, is an absolute sweetheart of a guy as well. And has uh, a couple of long, well, relationships with, I was gonna say long standing. They, they certainly have been with BB, less so with JHS. But a couple of drive pedals um, that he's worked on in the past. So the, this one is pretty much the pedal that I use almost every time I'm ever here. That's right. So we've got three pedals here. The uh, I'm going to get the oldest one. So the, the BB preamp has been available since 2002. And not that long after that, I'm thinking within like the first five years or so of, um, of that coming out, uh, Andy Timmons did a limited edition, his version of it, <coughs> uh, which you always see on his pedal board. And for 2018, it has been uh, re-released. So the BB preamp is kind of tube screamery kind of vibe, although it's got a treble and bass control on it, so you can have much more control over what you do with the bass end than you might do on a tube screamer. Um, the one on the left here is the JHS uh, Angry Charlie uh, Andy Timmons kind of custom version of it that came out in 2016, and this uh, was announced as discontinued uh, a couple of months back and replaced with the AT Plus, the Andy Timmons Plus, which is, which is exactly the same pedal. These four knobs and this switch, exactly the same as this one, but now with the added benefit of a boost control. Yeah. So we thought we'd do a couple of things. One was just, um, first of all, let's put it to the test and see whether or not the AT Plus is exactly the same as the original AT, because we've sold hundreds and hundreds of these, and I just want to make sure I'm that- I'm surprised uh, they've made it, you know, stop making them. Well, I guess most people would just go, well, if I've got the boost feature extra now, that's a good thing. Yeah. Then we're going to try the, the BB preamp and see, perhaps tonally speaking, how the Angry Charlie and the BB preamp differ. Uh, Angry Charlie to me is much more driven Marshall, sort of amp in a box type pedal. Uh, and then we're going to try stacking the BB preamp into the Angry Charlie just to see if we can get sort of... Uh, we're going to literally try and summon the soul of Andy Timmons and if everything goes right, a big puff of smoke will appear here after about five minutes and Andy Timmons will literally appear. So, no pressure, Rob. <laughs> right. But only if you get the licks nailed on. Right, well, I, I'm not going to play any Andy Timmons <laughs> because I can't. So, should we try first of all with the how different are the, the, the old and new? Sure. Right. <laughs> It's different. It's a It's a little feel, bit darker, huh? It does feel like what you've got to do to match the two pedals up is kind of have everything on here at, like, in the middle and everything here just slightly above middle. Yeah. So whether or not that's the the, the, the They've boost, given room for the boost. The boost circuit by adding that extra componentry in there, whether or not that's kind of uh, added a bit more resistance in the pedal and hence the reason you need to... <laughs> but they're very, you know, they're pretty similar sounding. They're similar. Similar. Um, so, experiment number one. If you're not familiar with the Andy Timmons, by the way, uh, 
the dip switch here, or the, I always call it a dip switch, and then people go, it's not a dip switch, Lee, it's... It's not a dip switch, Lee. So the small toggle switch here, hopefully that's the correct technical term, uh, is designed to emulate the kind of power amp sag that you would get from a driven 25 watt amp, a driven 50 watt amp, and a driven 100 watt amp. So the 100 watt is the least compressed, and the 25 watt is the most compressed. Would you like me to demonstrate well, that? Well, okay, you? yeah, do it. Okay. <laughs> So that's 25 watt, uh, 50 watt, 100 watt. Bit, bit brighter, a bit more expansive as you give the sort of pedal, the, yeah. the, the emulation of more headroom. <clears throat> Um, volume and drive are self-explanatory. EQ and air are tone controls, so effectively EQ is, you know, more you turn it up, the brighter it gets. Air is like, like a resonance kind of thing, just like a, mm, how much oomph is there. I, do you know what, I'll just demonstrate it. So here we go, here's <laughs> EQ being <laughs> judge. Here's air. In case you're wondering, this is our bass tone, as in no pedal. Sound, so pretty, pretty clean. We're actually using two <coughs> amps in the room. We're using the, 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 the pink taco through the 412 and a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe. Um, if I really gun the drive control on the AT, it's just a fantastic sound. I'll so go from that to <laughs> today, Mr. Chapman. It's good. Um, the boost control, which actually I believe can be used completely independently as well, so if you just want to use it as a separate boost, you can do. Uh, let's see what that kind of level brings. <laughs> Would you say this is more of a, a like a preamp? Boost or it does it? It's because it's not a Can I hear nice it? Stack it. It's more of a lead, so yeah. you can dial in the rhythm with the uh, the first switch, and then stack it for a lead and with the second. Let's try and do that then. So if I so, so I... so kick off, start with rhythm. It just sings. It's why we, we have one of these in the room, which we use a lot. I was going to say all the time. But it's not all the time. Well, it's, it's pretty much all the time. So let's do the BB preamp, which is a different kind of gain circuit. And again, over the kind of clean setting that we've got, sounded, if I just put it... <laughs> 
low again more transparent um, and again more the kind of pedal that I think you, you could use over a clean sound like this and it does sound great but equally you could use to, to, to perhaps drive a slightly more driven sound amp so um, can we go back to the first one this one yeah <laughs> With, wow. with uh, uh, similar settings. Okay. It seems like the, 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 the original. Yeah. I, I prefer it. Wow. I mean, Say how it is. <laughs> it just Rob. seems a little bit clearer. Yeah, well, I, I just let me just. Uh, I tell you what, here's a way to turn that way. <laughs> Go and stand in the corner. Are, turn you, that are way. you testing my my uh, hour just, integrity? I just want to. I just want to know. Right. So okay, here we okay. go. That's a, that's a, that's a good one. So here's uh, one of them. That's the new one. That's the old one. Good. Well, there you go. You got that completely wrong. With <laughs> so it conclu <laughs> conclusively shows that you can't really tell the difference between these no, two. They're tell. very, very similar. Um, so what I did want to do, though, was... and I don't Did even you brighten know that second one? I had them both. That they're the settings of them. Uh, except I've just turned the drive control down. I, I, I can't, that was pretty much what they were set to. So marginally, uh, oh, that's a fine. bit. It's fine. A bit. I think I. I think I would agree with you though. On twelve o'clock with everything, the newer one feels like it's just got a bit less than the original one. Yeah. I do agree with you. But, uh, you know, minor, minor tweaks and you get the two pedals to the point where you can't tell the difference. So, what I, I don't know if Andy Timmons uses uh, the, the BB to boost the A tier any time. He may not. I don't know. Andy, if you're watching, please comment below and tell us. Um, maybe that's why he's had the boost circuit put in here, so that he doesn't have to use the, this to boost it. But let's see if I can get a nice sound of this for a kind of crunchy sound and then this into it for a okay. fatter sound. Oh, God. Uh, Rabir has just slapped us down and said, guys, 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 <laughs> I like to do that. He said, can we hear it through the I've fender on its own first, and then can we hear it through the Freedman? So of course, here is the Freedman on its own. BB. 
And then here's the Fender clean. Play something like uh, Good. sort of blue on black or one of your sure. sort of white dovey kind of things just to just to be a bit more blues. <laughs> I think I like the BB better. Have you got? Have you got? I mean, if you could only have one, are you still? Are you still firmly well, throwing? Well, I had your... an opinion, but I was just gunned down what was, brutally. What was your opinion? I like the first I'm one. I'm not interested. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like, I like the original the best. Fair enough. Fair but enough. But I wouldn't turn down the middle one. So all the, they all have different uses, really. The BB is a very different pedal. It's red. Branded. It is red, yes. But it's, uh, but it's a completely different kind of game yeah, structure. But I like it. Anyway, so now what I'm going to do is plug uh, this one into this one. Okay. We're ignoring this one. It's a shame if you like this one the best, because then eBay will have to be your friend, because you can't buy these anymore. Uh, but there you go. Have eBay, you got eBay spot, is then? your friend. No, it's finished. It's only this one now. Oh, come on, um, Lee. I, I'm sorry. Perhaps JHS the, first will, will Miku, reissue it. Now this. Miku, man. I tell you. You know, we've got 200 of those coming in April. What? Like a one last ever run, 200 of That's them. That's not enough. There's No, we've pre-sold like 160 of oh, them. Oh, God. That's going to be a good day I'm in Edmonton's when one. they arrive. Ka-ching! <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, what was I doing here? So, I'm going to set this up a... I'm going to set this up a bit classic tube screamery, really. Why don't you have a play, Lee? I will do after this, actually, but you, just this one play? final experiment. Okay, okay. Sorry, carry on. So here we go with a rhythm sound from the AT. Like, which I I like it. Mint. But what we're going to do, rather than me play, let's jam out. But I shall take my pedal, this one, and play it into the Fender. You can take this pedal, play it into the Friedman. Okay. We'll jam out, and that'll be it for today. That'll be all she wrote. Should we just say goodbye now? Bye. Bye. <laughs>
everybody, thanks for watching the Anderton's Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting, and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.